All right. Oh, hey, what's this? Straight out of the thrift store, looking for Paul Scalore. My name is Burf, and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. up it's your boy burf and i'm back again with another thrift store toy hunt adventure and uh it's a little rainy out today a little drizzly overcast uh, a little uh, uh condensation falling from the clouds but uh we're thrifting baby we're toy hunting rain or shine sleet or snow we must toy hunt that's just how it goes so we're at thrift giant right now so we're gonna hit up thrift giant then we're gonna hit up goodwill and this thrift giant lately has been weak it's been weak, but uh, you gotta stop like every day because the deals are waiting for you. The, the epic scores are just waiting on the shelves. And as we know, the deals on the shelves love speed. So the faster you can get here, the more likely you are to get something. So I'm hoping they restock since yesterday. And I'm also hoping that since it's kind of raining a little bit today, that that keeps the thrifters away. A little bit of rain every day keeps the thrifters away so that gives us an opportunity to score and score big so we're gonna walk in here and see what kind of goodies they got on the shelves fingers crossed got that official t-shirt if you don't have one yet you can click the link in the description below and grab yourself one it'll help support the channel thrift gods be good to me today oh look at this see the deals on the shelves love speed so Oops, there is Captain America, there's a Batgirl. We might actually get a cart. Uh, check this out. Yeah, it looks like he walks too. All right, that's cool. Oh man, look at this, the Imagine Next. Uh, this probably goes with those different dragons that I have. That's a cool little cool little find. I only want $4.99 for it, but I don't know if I got room for it, to be honest with you. I'll oh, check this out. Okay. That actually has cobwebs in it. <laughs> and we got another 12-inch Chewbacca. I think I'm going to pick this one up for my brother. So, brother Jake, this one's for you. All right, check this bad boy out. That is awesome. Very, very cool. So, we're going to pick this up, too. All right, check this out. We've got a DC Superheroes Batgirl Batmobile. That thing's pretty awesome. It fits like a 12 inch figure. I do not have a 12 inch Batgirl figure, but I am definitely gonna pick this car up. Oh man, I was so stoked for this. Look how long his tail is. But look, his wing, his arm is busted off. Damn you, that is awesome. Hey, guess what? I found the missing piece, I found it, and I can glue it on. It's a perfect, perfect fit. So I'm gonna pick this guy up too. Man, we're finding all kinds of stuff today. Look at this, United States at war, Japs bomb our bases. Japan surrenders, Tokyo Radio, Report, Tokyo Radio reports, Tuning wins, Babe Ruth slams 16th homer. These are cool glasses. And they just put this guy out on the shelf. I haven't checked into him yet, but I'm gonna pick this up. I live in Dallas, uh, the Dallas area, so this should be an easy flip. All right, so we got some sweet, <laughs> sweet. We got some sweet. <laughs> got some sweet scores today, but I don't have time to show and tell them in the car. I've got a client call at 11, and I gotta get to Goodwill, and it's already quarter after 10. So uh, I will do a little show and tell later today. But hey. Uh, Let's head to Goody Wheel and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, my friends, we are here. <laughs> so uh, we're going to be skipping Grace Bridge today. Watch, it'll end up being like the, uh, the one day that there's like, you know, G.I. Joe's on the shelves or something like that, <laughs> like 1980s G.I. Joe's. But anyway, we're gonna skip Grace Bridge. I don't have time to hit that up, but we are gonna hit up this Goodwill. So fingers crossed, hopefully we get, uh, get some epic scores in here today. 
All right. Oh, hey, what's this? Oh, man. It's missing a canopy. But it is, oh, you know what? It is G.I. Joe. Oh, how about that? It is G.I. Joe. Well, heck, we're buying it then. I don't care if it's missing a canopy or not. If it's got G.I. Joe on it, it's mine, baby. Oh, that's so crazy. I was just talking about G.I. Joe maybe being over at Chris Bridge, and here it is at Goodwill. That's awesome. Gotta look around a little bit. You never know. Their canopy could be... Whoa. Oh, I'm knocking stuff over. The canopy could be somewhere else. All right, baby. It's uh, 1993 ghost strikers and uh missing the canopy it does uh have batteries uh so i'm gonna have to maybe piece this thing together do a little search on ebay or macari see if i can find some parts but man how cool is that that is so freaking cool man oh now i'm on the jazz baby i'm on the jazz okay guys so here we are in the toy room and i thought i'd do a quick little show and tell i haven't looked up prices on all of this stuff uh but if i do happen to look up the prices before i edit this video i'll make sure i put the little stickers on the screen so you can see what the value of each one of these things are as far as what they're selling for so first up we've got this batgirl batmobile which i believe is for a 12 inch figure so i thought that was pretty cool and then speaking of Batgirl, we actually have this Wobbles, I think it's called. Wobblers, Batgirl, and that is pretty awesome. Very, very well done. I really dig it. Matter of fact, let me see if I can fling it, flip it around here. I gotta see if I can get this uh, tape off it without tearing the box. But cool figure, picked her up for $5.99. And then we've got this Dallas Cowboys boxing puppets. And I thought this was a pretty cool score as well. They brought this out just as I was standing in line, ready to check out and I snagged it off the shelf. And then we've got Vulture, Chewy, which is going to my brother. And I might need a little help guys. I wasn't sure if this was anti-venom. I'm not 100%. I love me some Spider-Man, but I'm not familiar with all of the Spider-Man figures and characters and stuff, but I think I saw something online that he might be called Anti-Venom, possibly. Chewbacca. And then we've got this old biplane, which really isn't a biplane. Well, I don't know. Is it, maybe it's supposed to have another set of wings going across the top actually maybe not i think maybe this is what it's actually supposed to look like but it could have another set that went on top and i just didn't realize it but i thought this was pretty cool and uh there's a little space there for a pilot to sit down in. and then let me, let me move this out of the way and then we got i think it's is it tunny jack tunny maybe Tunny wins, I'm sure. Yeah, uh, that's Jack Dempsey right there, the boxer. So, and then, ah, here we go. It is Gene Tunney. Gene Tunney versus Jack Dempsey. So we've got this glass right here. And then on the back side, it says Babe Ruth slams 16th home run. And these are like the newspaper clippings from it. I think this is pretty awesome. Japan surrenders, Tokyo radio reports. You guys know I love all types of military stuff. I have military toys from like the 1930s around the World War II era. I have World War I and World War II toys. So I thought this was cool. And then it also says over here, United States at war, Japs bomb our bases. So that's the Pearl Harbor. And then last, but certainly not, not least, we've got this, it says Ghost Strikers over here on the wing. So it says Ghost Strikers. It's from 1993 and it does take batteries. And it's got this 
left handle that folds up and actually disappears and it does have landing gear. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, and it has a trigger. So I put some batteries in this thing. Maybe we can get this thing to work, but it is GI Joe. And you know me and my vintage. If it's vintage and it's missing parts, it doesn't matter, I'm buying it. Now, if that had been like some other plane that was missing the canopy and some other things, I probably would have passed on it, but I'm not gonna pass on G.I. Joe. Oh, and oh my gosh, how could I forget this guy? I was able to super glue his wing back on. How magnificent is this? This is actually, I mean, this ranks right up there almost with that G.I. Joe Ghost Strikers plane. Um, this thing, oh man, I, I gotta tell you, I am absolutely in love with this thing. <laughs> like this is awesome. He looks so good here with the wine cellar door in the background. Oh yeah, very medieval. Hey, if you're enjoying watching this content as much as I'm enjoying making it for you, do me a favor, smash that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you're always first to be notified of the next episode. Also, tell your friends about this channel. Tell them to come subscribe and come hang out with Burf. I would really, really appreciate appreciate that. Or post one of my videos, one of the videos that you liked over the last you know, several months that I've been posting them, post them in some Facebook groups. Just share it to get it out there. I would really help, uh, it help, uh, help me out as far as getting my content out to more people. So also uh, like and comment on this video. Let me know what was your favorite score today. I think this right here, even though it's missing pieces, is my favorite score of the day. It's freaking awesome. Also follow me on Instagram at 80s Toys Rock and Rock is spelled R. Oh, see! In the meantime, I'll catch you on the flip side.